So today I'm going to tell you about head swellings in a newborn. So we have so today I'm going to talk to you about caput succedinum and cephal hematoma. Since caput succedinum is more common, so we will discuss caput succedinum first. Now caput succedinum usually happens when there is prolonged delivery. Now when there is a prolonged delivery, there is venous congestion of the scalp veins which lead to fluid collection in the scalp. It usually happens when the head is coming out and the head is stuck outside while the body of the baby is inside which leads to transudation of fluid and it leads to fluid collection in the scalp. Now we can see that the collection is happening at the level of the scalp region and scalp we all know is superficial so the swelling will be superficial and it is not divided by sutures so it is diffuse. So anything which is superficial will appear early so the appearance is on day one itself. Now coming to cephal hematoma. Now we can see hematoma means blood. Okay. Hematoma is blood. So when will blood come? Blood, blood will only come when there is a trauma to the head and trauma most commonly is because of instrumental delivery and because of that there is subperiosteal collection of blood. Now we can see it is happening at the level of subperio like bel below the periosteum so it is deep. So the swelling will obviously be deep and it is localized because it is separated by sutures and it appears after 12 to 24 hours. Now as we know this blood which has collected it is not circulating. Since it is not circulating the blood will break down into heme and, glob and globin which will the heme part will again divide into bilirubin and bilirubin which will cause neonatal jaundice. So, th so the complication of cephal hematoma is neonatal jaundice. Now let me explain you with the, the diagram. Now here we can see the first image is showing caput succedinum. The blood is collected between the Now we can see that the blood is collected between below the skin and it is crossing the sutures line that is it is diffuse. So this is caput succedinum. This is caput succedinum. Now the below image we can see that this this is the suture and the collection is limited to a place. So this is cephal hematoma. Now 